preparing now for the ground launch sequencer to hand off to the onboard computers. And the handoff has occurred. Sound suppression water system is now being activated, We're arming the firing chain. Safety inhibits are now removed. Launch ignition system is armed. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, launching a door to partnerships in space. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. Roll program. Atlantis, Houston, roger roll. Atlantis into the roll, placing the shuttle in a heads-down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Atlantis beginning its chase of the International Space Station, a 42 hour pursuit of the facility. Seconds into the flight, Atlantis's three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 72 percent of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. One minute into the flight, those main engines now beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104 percent of rated performance. Good engine performance, good fuel cells, good three hydraulic power units. Go ahead, throttle up. Up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Capcom uh, Gus Loria to Commander Steve Lindsay aboard Atlantis. Lindsay joined on the flight deck by pilot Charlie Hobaugh, flight engineer Janet Cavandi, and mission specialist Mike Gernhardt. Jim Riley seated alone down on the mid deck. One minute, 36 seconds into the flight, Atlantis already 18 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. All systems functioning perfectly at this moment. Atlantis traveling 2,900 miles per hour, now 27 miles downrange and a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging aboard Atlantis, the onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently switch